नमस्ते टू एवरीवन नमस्ते सिल्ले दीदी गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन सो वी हैव अ शेयरिंग ऑफ सीजर सिनी टीजी सो दीदी नमस्ते नमस्ते भैया जी बिफोर वी स्टार्ट लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस यू सो सीजर सिनी जी इज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन एसी डिपार्टमेंट इन अन्ना यूनिवर्सिटी चेन्नई she has started his uh, her usb journey uh, in august 2023 by doing an introductory online workshop then did twice usb2 workshop one in offline in december 2023 and online in march 2024 then joined the eighth batch of morning session uh, regarding her volunteering activities she uh, is a core team member of southern region and uh, we can be part of various planning team of chhb uh, in sr region also she works for uh, team development in sr region and she is also a part of holistic health team and various uh, chhb activities in anna university and uh, uh, we are fortunate to listen to vikram uh, uh, ji husband of this uh, darshini didi so uh, he is a project manager at kpit bangalore uh, he has done his usb1 during march 2024 online workshop and uh, he to do usb2 workshop uh, though he is not volunteering uh, currently uh, but he has been desire to volunteer in various activities of usb and uh, when the discussion goes to family then everybody becomes the part of uh, this so in that process vikram bhai has also joined this uh, with the help of sin darshini didi with this brief introduction uh, didi uh, you can put your sharing then uh, vikram bhai can also please his sharing welcome to both of you over to you didi thank you bhaiya Uh, good morning, Chandra Didi, and good morning, all the co-explorer. Uh, as Daya pointed out, I started with my USB journey in August twenty twenty-three. I am with my husband. Uh, as Daya said, he is manager, and he is not in the academic field. I we have two kids. Uh, my elder daughter is ten years old, and my younger son is uh, five years old. So continuing with this UHC journey, so I understood that completing an FDP is going to be the starting point uh, of this journey. It's not that I have done some FDP so I have gained the knowledge. I came to understand that so I joined the morning session in the eighth batch, and uh, before I undergo uh, all this exercise. I I have validated some of the proposal like uh, I am the coexistence of self and body, and trust is the foundational value which I was able to see from the relationship that I had, and I can also see that the um, harmony in self relationship and coexistence or ever present. With this basic idea, I started with this morning session, and. in the batch 8 i was not consistent because i was just having an a uh, basic idea of uh we introduction so i was not regular to the batch actually so after completing my uh we too i got some more interest and i have been regular to this batch 9 and starting with the exercise 1 so initially i i am not i don't know that i can be aware of myself that is the actual state but when we started with this exercise one and the first step is like i have to observe my imagination at the particular moment i was able to be aware of my own self i was able to be aware of the uh, feeling that i am have i was not able to observe the imagination that is going on in myself but i was able to find out the feeling and 
and when i was checking the feeling i was also able to find out whether it is uh, in line with the natural acceptance whether it is naturally acceptable to me or not and even if it is going to be naturally acceptable or not i can able to find how was my family so when i got some feeling which is naturally acceptable i was able to see that i am in harmony and if not then i i was having some disturbance in myself and i also found out that it's me who is deciding this feeling and most of the time this decision was based on my preconditioning or the assumptions that i was having and after this so at the outcome of this exercise one is that the first thing is i was be or i can be aware of most of the moments it's it's not uh, fully I, i can't say that i'm fully aware of myself fully aware of my feelings but i was able to be aware of my feelings for most of the time and at sometimes i find out that after getting some feeling and after uh, reacting then i got this awareness of okay this feeling is not in line with my natural acceptance so i have to be having a feeling which has to be in line so this happens and one more thing is like uh, what i can see as of now is even though i am getting an awareness when i get a feeling it takes some time for me to get in back with the natural acceptance so i i can say some uh, si- situations that happen so for example if my kids are uh, doing some uh, things which makes me irritated when when i was doing something or when i was seriously uh, preparing for my class and so on so when i start to say something to them or when i start to shout at them i can sense that i can be aware that it's not in line with my natural acceptance i should be having a feeling of relationship with them and they are also similar to me but even then it's not that i was able to change the feeling immediately so maybe i can say that i have reduced uh, the way in which i i shouted them or i, I can reduce the uh, level to which i get irritated but then it still persists i shouted them and then it takes some time for me to get down to the natural feeling of having a relationship with them this is one similarly a scenario took place yesterday a day before yesterday where uh, we have kept some proposals to get it signed from our uh, vice chancellor in the college and we have placed those letters on monday and when we we were constantly going there to check whether it is signed and we are tracking it up with the uh, personal secretary to vc and on wednesday we got a call uh, by 3 pm in the afternoon stating that the document has been signed so leaving off all the other academic activities since this is uh, most important we went there to get the document and to have the other processing so when we went there and when we took the document we found that actually vc has to sign in two places which has been marked already but he has signed only in the first page so without the second sign we will not be able to proceed so uh, when i saw that thing uh, i was i was not upset or i was not irritated i thought okay we can give it to the ps once again to get it signed but what happened is when i went to her uh, she was in a call so she just uh, momentarily paused the call and uh, she came to me and asked what is the thing i i elaborated the entire thing and said like we have to have sign in this document also so uh, when is it possible to get sign from him so uh, she immediately reacted stating that you know how much uh, uh, pressure is involved in getting sign in the document when we see is in between a meeting uh, it's only because of you people i went and got sign in the document and uh, you can't come and say that you want it immediately uh, but we have kept it some 3 days before and 
I I fell to have I I started to sense a feeling of irritation in me. So it's it's their work. They have to get it signed, and we have clearly mentioned that he has to sign in two places, but they missed it out. But and she is coming now and stating that she has done this out of her own interest and so on. But even though I have this uh, feeling in me, a feeling of opposition with her, I didn't react. I was simply uh, keeping, uh, maintaining silence, and I was looking at her. And then she told me like, uh, it's a it's a very tedious process to get signed from him, and you have you have to wait. These are the process in a public university. You have to follow this, uh, so many things. Then I, with a feeling of opposition. I said to her, "Okay, ma'am, kindly get it signed and let me know so that we can come and collect." And and I left the place. The thing which I can notice is, even though I can be aware of the feeling at that particular moment, I was not able to change that into a feeling of relationship. It took about some half an hour for me to uh, uh, get into the feeling of relationship, even after leaving that particular place. so uh, this is one one incident which happened and where i was able to be aware of my own feeling so uh, when when i say that out of the seven steps in exercise 1 i was able to be clear with some six steps and getting going to exercise 2 so exercise 2 i can uh, say that Uh, i didn't put in that much effort as i did my exercise one but still uh, since i have verified the proposal of like myself is a coexistence of self and body i was able to get into the uh, step one of exercise to ecv so the first one is pretty much clear and i can also sense that i am Uh, giving instruction to the body from time to time and only when it is required so uh, initially so this thing of uh, changing the reaction into response have also made me to understand this clearly so i take some time if some something is happening i as of now i take at least some 5 to 10 seconds to look, look into what is happening and then i try to respond so in the same way so when i was calm inside i take some time to uh, decide what information that i have to transmit to the body and obviously it's myself which is deciding what are the things that i have to instruct the body and also in case of reading the outside sensation i can see that if i want to Uh, avoid something, or if I don't like something, then I completely ignore it. I, I don't take those sensation which I am not comfortable with, which I I have to practice and I have to make sure that I treat uh, every sensation similar. And uh, that is about the uh, fourth and uh, fifth point. And sixth point is yes, most of the time. i react based on or react or respond even i respond based on the uh, uh sanskar which is based on assumptions and preconditioning even though i i am aware of those things that this particular uh, feeling is based on the assumption or this particular feeling is based on the uh, preconditioning i am not able to uh, completely uh, eradicate it whereas uh, i have reduced it i have reduced it i try to see what is naturally acceptable to me at that particular moment and 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 taking to the or making my sanskar completely based on natural acceptance is really being uh, a difficult process for me as of now and the last step is like yes uh, i am a coexistence in space the body is in coexistence in space this is a, this is a kind of assumption to me i am not able to verify this on my own whereas the other things i was able to make it up from my own verification process but this last step is being a proposal to me so uh, these are the uh, outcome uh, which i have 
got from the exercise one and two. So yeah, uh, coming to this, how many steps are you able to uh, see in yourself clearly? It's approximately six to five to six in both the exercise five, five or six steps in exercise one. Similarly, five or six in exercise two. And the fourth point is like happiness is your innate nature. Yes, I, I agree to this point. I can, uh, I have verified that this happiness is an innate nature of myself and it doesn't uh, depend on any other outside uh, environment. And I'm also trying to make my program to make this point clear in myself so that I'll be uh, getting the sanskar based on that. And uh, how much of program is for trying to get favorable effect? So this I have completely uh, reduced. So I can see that usually generally uh, I'll be going on for window shopping or something which I like. Even if I'm not going to get it up, I will just check it out with Amazon or some other online sites. But as of now, I can see that I don't have any uh, significant efforts to get, I don't put in any significant efforts to get favorable sensation from outside. Uh, as I'm very clear with this thing that happiness is my innate nature. And coming to how much of this program is keeping in focus with the self, I, I don't know. Actually, I, ca I can't tell a, a clear thing of how much I'm focusing with the self. But uh, when coming to uh, keeping in focus with the body, Yes, uh, I can see that I spend about some 45 minutes to one hour specifically for my body. Uh, but uh, the same thing, I'm not able to analyze how much of this program is keeping me in focus with the body. So coming to the commitment part, like, uh, yeah, I'm trying to have a clean observation and exploration of myself. And I want to have a, to develop a right relationship and feeling uh, understanding in me. And I know that it takes so much of time and it's a very long process where as of now, I'm just being aware that I have some thoughts, feeling, desires and imagination, which is going to decide the reaction or the response that I'm going to have in the next moment. And this has to be completely guided by the natural acceptance. Uh, this is what I'm, I'm completely aware of. And how much time can you devote for social responsibility? It's like, uh, as of now, I'm approximately uh, taking up about some six to seven hours, I'm sorry, 10 to 12 hours in a week. And I have to spend some more time for that. And it's like, it's like I'm dedicating some two hours, including this morning session and uh, some of the days I have some two hours or three hours of uh, time, which has been dedicated uh, to have my commitment. And one more thing which I want to share is like, after getting into this morning session, like my husband is, he, he is also uh, interested in this. We generally discuss the things that happens, even if it is going to be a technical or non-technical thing. And whenever we get back home, he is in Bangalore, so he'll be coming to home uh, once in a week. So at least over through phone, we'll be discussing what happened in my institute. And if he has something to say, he'll be discussing it. So when I started with this UHV journey, I, I discussed with him, I shared the PPT. I attended online session for UHV introductory. So I shared the PPT. And he used to go through it and we will be having some discussions. And he, he also got an interest over the content. Uh, with this in process, we came to know that we are doing some mistake uh, in making our kids understand what the reality is. So we do have consulted with uh, Sharmila Didi and uh, we got some uh, opinion on how we have to be as a parent. And that also helped me a lot in uh, bringing up a change in the entire family scenario. Uh, that is one which I want to share. And with this sharing, I, I would like to uh, pass the mic to my husband. And he is here and he will be giving you uh, the sharing also. Thank you.
morning bhaiya morning didi yeah uh, i am vikram uh, uh, i was introduced to uh, this program by uh, sri darshni didi and um, i work for an it uh, department uh, in bangalore kpit uh, i started this journey uh, maybe a couple of months back in, in the month of january where i did my uh, online course on first session uh, uhp session and then uh, this morning session i have been pa- part and uh, sometimes uh, not regular part of this uh, uh, daily session but i am willing to do that uh, in the morning session since i am traveling uh, i don't uh, see that i am participating every day uh, and uh, my observations is uh, before getting into this session um, i had a kind of a domination in me that whatever i do things i do it with uh, the preconditioning of i am the best i do things in the best way and when i evaluate others it, it i have uh, found out that i i have been pointing their uh, mistakes very often uh, here and there uh, given an example uh, when we travel in a car uh, if i am in a very good mood i accept that if if somebody is doing a mistake or something uh, in the in the road i just go away pass by but if i am really in in a, in a bad conditioning uh, then i i pick up a fight with the other one saying that this this is his mistake he did it this way and that way before i i joined this uhv what this awareness brought in me is that the, the feeling of relationship uh, it's all human things that we are naturally bound to uh, have uh, our our behavioral changes so i i started this way that uh, the harmony that i want to bring in uh, from the feeling of relationship so i started thinking them equally with me and my preconditioning of that i am superior i i do things in in a best way this all changed in me making me to to think that uh, from the naturally acceptance that all human are having the right understanding and this un- uh, the feeling of understanding and uh, not to judge someone on uh, my preconditioning it was my preconditioning which was coming in friend uh that i i would uh, assume that they they behaved wrongly or even uh, that conditioning uh, did not help me to to behave in or having the right feeling in me so this was the basic change i i, I could see when i started feeling uh, this awareness and the feeling that i got after this i i was able to see that i'm getting myself into uh, natural acceptance uh, that uh, the feeling is uh, in innate to happy happiness and not to find uh, the, the the conditioning that i have so this is something that i i could uh, bring in and uh, coexistence is also something that i i could experience uh, as as we are into it we also ha- have a uh, feeling of opposition or feeling of a kind of race with each other if someone does something then i have to go one step beyond them to show cast that i'm 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 equivalent to him or somewhere that i i i have done a better job with them so this always had a kind of opposition with uh, coworkers or someone that i i show myself somewhere superior to other this feeling uh, always uh, did not help me in, in family as well as in work family i i have to spend more time at work because of this feeling and this um awareness of being self where, where am i going help me to understand that the feeling of relationship yes he has achieved something and i should acknowledge it as if i i have done it so this is a feeling that i i am able to inculcate in me at least see that uh, yeah it is uh, someone who has done it better and i should acknowledge them and i feel uh, happy uh, with with this innate nature so this is something that i am able to have a, a natural uh, acceptance uh, feeling so these are my steps with uh, observing self and uh, the second item that i would like to share is on uh, uh, 
body. Uh, body. Um, I am someone uh, who gave a lot of um, importance to sensation, importance to my sensation. Uh, the first sensation is uh, that uh, I'm a kind of, I thought that I'm a footy. I used to travel a long way just to, to have, uh, to satisfy my sense of uh, uh, taste. So I, I used to travel 10, 15 kilometers just to uh, try out different foods and things like that, giving more importance to my body. And if uh, days are there that I did not like it, I may uh, not have uh, uh, food at home or something like that. So there I then realized that body uh, helps me to, to help me to understand the natural acceptance and not that I should go with the sensation of body. So whatever my body says, uh, I shouldn't behave accordingly. Uh, I have uh, behaved in, in a way that if, if um, there is something that I'm, I'm not feeling good or somewhere, I used to shout at uh, my kids or my wife because I, I do not have that uh, right understanding. So then I, I started observing, uh, observing myself uh, in terms of uh, what sensation do I have? Do I need to follow what my body says? Then this naturally, uh, this awareness of self helped me to understand that I have to differentiate between myself and body. These two are coexistence and not that whatever my body says is what how I, I, I should behave. I should take it to the, the behavioral change that I have. So with that part, at least now, I, I am able to understand this this journey of uh, self and body are two different things and uh, they, they coexist. Uh, and uh, with this, uh, my interactions is not always within myself. The, the conversation I have with self is, is uh, able to naturally align with the natural acceptance rather than uh, prior to this, not with the preconditioning that this it makes me feel bad about my the food I had, the, the way I uh, do. This has a complete change in the way I react now and the way I respond now. Um, yeah, and with self and body um, and between the space, I'm still exploring. Uh, I haven't uh, uh, done all the seven steps. Uh, I'm still uh, in the early stages of uh, uh, the reading the sensation and uh, how I behave uh, during those different sensations between self and body. So this is where uh, I'm able to realize myself that I'm able to differentiate between self and body and uh, the coexistence of these two. And uh, uh, this morning session, yes, uh, I'm able to uh, have seen how things have been, uh, the experience that is shared in this group and uh, this program has really helped me uh, in understand the difference between uh, a practical way of things rather than a bookish way of uh, doing things. I have read a couple of books on self-improvements and other things where we, we speak about that we shouldn't respond based on uh, react. We should analyze and do it. But this program helped me to keep an awareness of myself. So this was the biggest change. Uh, the first change that no books, reading a, a self-improvement books could bring in. To make self-awareness is more about observing myself, uh, observing my feelings. Although there are books the, which, which says that you have to observe feelings so you, where you can see what whether you feel happiness and other things. But this program gives me a, a systematic steps of how could I do it? How was missing in those uh, books which uh, this program defines a, a systematic method of what this proposal, how can I experiment my these proposals within myself? So this has helped me uh, to 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 take the first steps into the life, uh, the uh, the human values that I, I could uh, explore with, and um, I see that I can uh, spend a couple of hours uh, since my uh, wife is also into it, and I see that I'll um, be able to uh, do this on. Uh, uh, I, I want to spend time on this program uh, because it helps me to understand and evolve as a human being. Uh, the feeling of relationship is where 
I see that there are a lot of changes in me that in this couple of months that I could see, and I'm willing to explore more uh, within myself and uh, with the society that I can spend a couple of hours uh, uh, for both social and uh, for uh, self exploration. Thank you, Baya. Thank you, uh, Vikram ji. Namaste. So, uh, a family sharing is always a treat for you know all of us and gives us a lot of encouragement that yes, this content can be explored together in the family along with the kids. So, I may request you to put few uh, you know observations with the child uh, in the family or any other family members. Any example like uh, earlier and recent scenario. If both of you can put a few examples. Yeah. Uh, okay, Vaya. So, uh, one thing which I uh, generally share, like uh, this is the first time I'm sharing in the morning session, but uh, I got a chance where uh, I shared uh, my experience with uh, during the university coordinators and co coordinators meeting. And usually the first thing I put forward is like, how is the relationship has gone up between my uh, in-laws and myself? That is one which I generally used to share. Uh, obviously, it's like we are like cat and a mouse in a family. I am the only uh, daughter-in-law. And uh, my my mother-in-law will be having uh, certain things which I, I have I was having a sanskar like I should always oppose something when she's going to tell that. And if it is being said by some other people, I at least try to understand why they are telling that particular point. So I have been married. We have been married for 11 years as of now. And till the 10th year of my marriage, it's like whatever she's going to start, if she's going to say, okay, let's have chapati in the morning. Like, no, I have to immediately respond like no 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 you should be taking a idli or something else so th this is what is happening we are not living together they are living in the native and generally this happens so when i attended the first workshop i i even tested with those four questions like do you want to keep yourself happy do you want to make others happy so when i when i fit in my husband as the second per person i was able to find out all yes for the questions but when I kept my mother-in-law, it's like the last two questions, like, or it was like, no, I'm not sure. Or at least it's like, no, she don't want to make me happy. So this relationship drastically changed when I uh, try to understand that trust is the found foundational value that I have to have. And she is also a coexistence of self and body. So this drastically changed and uh, I was like having us of now she's with us and uh, I was able to have a good feeling of relationship towards her and the other thing is like with my mother when I started with this journey she was like complaining me uh, stating that I become more of a selfish in nature I am not involving in any of the other activities uh, generally we used to sit and have uh, talk about the others the relatives what they have done we will be deciding on how they should have done in a particular situation and scenario. So that that part, I, I just stopped to uh, participate in those things. And she was like, you became very selfish, you know, so we were not at all uh, talking with us. And you are like, you are taking care of only your things. So this is the statement I got from her uh, during the month of, say, uh, November, December and all. And uh, I, I stop to react when I, I, I hear such kind of things. And I have also discussed with some of the mentors, like my mom is telling this, how I have to behave and react. And I got a chance at times when I can share her with what has been happening in my, myself. And she's also ready with it. She said like both my in-laws and my mother, they are like, they told me like, if you have a course on Tamil in the regional language, maybe we'll be able to go through that also. So slowly that complaint from my mother changed and she was like, she was being, I, I can see that we, we started to have a good relationship. So this is from my family side. And towards the kids, generally my uh, elder daughter will be 
complaining us, stating that we are being more partial with the uh, younger ones. And that has been, she, she didn't say that exactly in, in these words, but she started to uh, say it, uh, put it up in different things, in different ways she started to put it up. And after having a discussion with Rajul Bhaiya and Sharmila Didi, we got to know what is the mistake that we are making from our side as a parent. So the main mistake which I did was like, I, I have treated her equally to myself in the sense. So if there is a scenario, what, how is that I would have behaved? So I expected the same thing from her. I just forgot that she is still a child. She is one. Uh, who is learning from us. So I completely uh, forgot those things and I was expecting like she should be like this, she should be like this because she's my daughter. So that part I came to uh, eradicate, I, I remove it from my sanskar and as of now I can see she's, she's okay. She's not uh, completely like in a state of having a feeling of relationship with us, but she's okay. She started to uh, speak up her things like at first we have to pull her up and we have to ask like okay tell me what has happened uh, why is that you are not sharing with me but you are sharing with your uh, grandparents so these are the things which you will be having but as of now she's ready to say she's ready to uh, open up uh, this is what uh, we can see from our daughter uh, going to my career side like uh, I can see that generally we'll be having, we, we are a department where we have some 70 plus staffs, faculties, and some of them are permanent and some are temporary. So generally we do have an, um, uh, a classification of people, like these are temporary people, these are permanent people. And what I can see is that uh, about some three to four times, I had a scenario where something went in a wrong way or with one of my co-staff uh, who is uh, who is actually a, a, she's ha she was having a temporary position in the department and I, I didn't react for it. I have also shared this in the morning session. I didn't react with her. I was able to have a feeling of relationship. So automatically what happened is after some three or four days, they came to me on their own and they sat with me in my place and they started to tell what is that uh, which is being hindrance for them to do it. And they also used to share, like this is what is happening in my family. So I was not able to do it. Uh, kindly don't think bad of me. So what I can say is like my shift in uh, the way I, I, I respond to them, my shift from the reaction to response have made them to feel or to have a feeling of relationship towards me. And they came to me and it's, it's like they find uh, someone with whom they can share their feelings. That is one uh, which I have got from my, uh, my department or uh, towards my career. Uh, this is what I have to share based on these things, Baya. So we can take comments from um, our mentors, Sarmila Didi. Sarmila Didi, Namaste, please. Yeah. So, Namaste, Sri Darshini Ji and Vikram Ji. Namaste, Didi. Namaste. Very nice to hear uh, the sharing from both of you. I think... Uh, a lot of exploration has been happening for both of you together and taking into account the entire family. Like you mentioned, it is early days, I think. You just started it, the whole process last year. And I think uh, Vikramji has not been able to do the, you know, UHB2 or the being in the morning session regularly. But even so, I think a lot of exploration is happening. And uh, I think, you know, um, the changes that you have described, uh, Sri Darshani Ji and even Vikram Ji, it is a reflection of how we are trying to improve ourselves 
develop ourselves. It is the whole purpose of these two exercises, self-development. Working on yourself and being that change that you are trying to, you know, make in the other person. So that part uh, came across very clearly that, uh, you know, you are able to see this and like you described Siddhar Shumiji, what you mentioned that earlier you didn't know that you can be aware of yourself. From that point to where you have reached in this very short span of time, I think it is really commendable that you are not only now aware of your imagination, your feelings, but you are able to notice this, that whenever you have that feeling of opposition, you are uncomfortable within. This itself is a very major shift. Now the next part of that is to be able to see that, okay, if this is what is making me uncomfortable, what is it that makes me comfortable? So at the moment that you have the feeling of opposition, if you can at that very moment refer to your natural acceptance and see what is naturally acceptable to you and try to have that feeling, slowly you will be changing your uh, sanskars and this will eventually become a spontaneous kind of thing. Of course, it takes a lot of time. For all of us, it is taking a lot of time. But you will notice that the moments that you have opposition, those moments are coming down. That shift is happening. So I think one of the most important things that I feel what you can do is shift your focus from trying to eradicate a particular feeling to shifting focus to what is naturally acceptable and having that right feeling which is in line with natural acceptance. So rather than focusing on what to remove, try to focus on what to have and you know try to do that. And whatever is not in line with the natural acceptance will slowly start you know, coming down, fading away. So uh, for you, I would say in particular, um, there is a lot of work to be done in exercise one and two, particularly in exercise two, if you look at, you know, step five, it is a very major shift and a very important step. So I would say that in the coming 10th uh, batch sessions, if you can work on doing these steps of the exercise one and two uh, very rigorously again on yourself, and like you mentioned, you haven't been able to work much on exercise two, so particularly spending that time for exercise two, trying to do the daily assignments, I think you will find uh, you know a lot of uh, changes that you can bring about with that. That was one thing. The other thing, uh, maybe next time we can have a sharing, uh, including your daughter also in the sharing. Because I think she is very verbal and uh, she is quite able to communicate her feelings from what I could gather. So it would be very nice for us to hear her also. So maybe next time we can think about that. That is something that I was thinking. Uh, for Vikramji also, I would say that, you know, I think a lot of things you have been able to observe despite the fact that you have not had uh, that much of time that you could devote on attending the workshop or the morning sessions regularly. Even so, I can see a lot of exploration. One thing I can say is that if you are not able to make it regularly in those timings, the recordings of the exercise one and two are available. 
so you can do them at your own time whenever convenient to you at your own pace that is also a possibility and then you can also keep joining the morning sessions as and when you are able to but that uh, continuity can be maintained in the steps of the exercises. That was one thing I was thinking. And of course, the UHV2 workshop is very helpful also. So those are two possibilities that I was thinking. Very uh, important thing that you were able to see is that this, you know, uh, your own behavior or as parents, how you were, see what happens is when we have uh, two siblings few years apart, we tend to be overprotective. We want to shield the younger child because now we can see the difference between the older and the younger. And so in your own, you know, you may not even realize this, but very often in that sense of shielding or protecting the younger child, we tend to uh, sort of differentiate with the older one. And uh, of course, like Sri Darshini said, we don't intentionally differentiate between the children, but we have to remember that the older child also doesn't intentionally have a negative feeling towards the sibling. And perhaps we have you know, somewhere led to this, which is also what I wanted to mention for Jagdishti's question. So I think uh, a lot of shift has been happening and a lot of positive change has been happening in the family as a whole. And it is very encouraging. A lot of uh, the participants will be able to relate. Those who are you know, facing some challenges at the home front with the children will be able to relate to this. And uh, I think, uh, of course, more work needs to be done, a little more clarity is required, but that will happen as time goes. All the very best to both of you for working on yourself, exploring more, volunteering, being a part of the entire extended family. Uh, you know, uh, so we look forward to your continued participation in the morning sessions. All the very best to both of you.